Hello, discrete math fans. There's a really nice formula for the sum of the first n integers. If you want to add 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way up to n, the formula tells you that this is going to equal n times n plus 1 over 2. Let's use mathematical induction to prove this formula. So the proof goes like this. For n in the natural numbers, let's let p of n be the predicate that we talked about above. And in the basis step, we're going to show that this predicate is true when n is equal to 1. So that is, we're going to show that p of 1 is true. Now p of 1 is the statement that 1 is equal to 1 times 1 plus 1 over 2. Well, that's definitely true, so p of 1 is true. Now for our inductive step. Let's assume that p of k is true for some k in the natural numbers. So what we're assuming is that 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way up to k is equal to k times k plus 1 over 2. And we want to show that p of k plus 1 is true. So that is, we want to show that the sum formula works when we end at k plus 1. Now in order to prove this, let's start with the left-hand side of this predicate and see if we can arrive at the right-hand side. OK, so if we take the sum of the first k plus 1 integers, I'm going to rewrite it just so that we can actually see the k that's in here. This is the second to last term. Now we can take all of this, the sum going up to k, and rewrite that as k times k plus 1 over 2. That's because we can use our inductive hypothesis that says that those two things are true. Whenever I use the inductive hypothesis, I'm going to mark the equal sign with a little star just to remind myself where that inductive hypothesis happened. Now the rest of it is just a little bit of algebra. Make some common denominators, group things together, factor, and we end up with what we want, k plus 1 times k plus 2 over 2. There's nothing fancy about the remaining steps. It's just a little bit of algebra, but you also want to make sure you keep in mind where you're trying to end up. The real key step happens here using the inductive hypothesis. Therefore, p of k plus 1 is true, and that means we've proved the inductive step. So our conclusion is, by the principle of mathematical induction, the sum of the first n integers is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. And that's true for all n in the natural numbers. Okay, that's all for now.